Welcome to our video on the topic of accuracy in structural calculations. Structural calculations are used to determine the strength and stability of a structure and are an essential part of the design process. In this video, we will be discussing the importance of making assumptions about loads, materials, and models in the design of structures and how this affects the precision and accuracy of our calculations. It is important to note that precision refers to the number of digits used in a measurement, while accuracy refers to how close a measurement is to the true value. For instance, a skyscraper designed to withstand wind loads. If calculations are not accurate and precise, the building may not be able to withstand the wind loads and may suffer damage or collapse, potentially causing injury or loss of life. When it comes to designing a structure, there are many factors to consider, from the nature of the loads acting on the structure, such as wind, snow, or earthquake, to the strength of the materials used. Every decision we make has an impact on the final design. Furthermore, one of the most important factors to consider is the accuracy and precision of our calculations. It is becoming clear that, that the design of structures requires many assumptions to be made which means that there is no point in presenting calculations with too much precision. Moreover, a key concept in determining precision is significant figures. Significant figures are the digits in a number that are known with some level of certainty, plus one additional digit that is uncertain. For example, 100 has three significant figures, while 100.0 has four significant figures. In structural calculations, three or at most four significant figures are generally adequate. Additionally, on many occasions, a designer needs to round off a calculated value of a dimension to suit a commonly available size. For example, calculations may indicate that a steel plate needs to be 9.7 mm thick. In this case, it would be specified as 10 mm which is a standard size that can be obtained off the shelf. Rounding off to standard sizes is important because it ensures that the structure will be built with materials that are readily available. It also simplifies the construction process and fully complies with industry standards like Eurocodes and national standards such as British standards. These codes and standards provide guidelines and requirements for the design and construction of structures to ensure safety and longevity. Furthermore, a difficult decision is sometimes needed if the calculations indicate a thickness of say 10.2 mm. Should a thickness of 10 mm be specified or the next size up of 12 mm? In general, it is prudent to play it safe and round up. It is important to note that safety should always be the top priority when making these decisions. In this way, if the calculations are in accordance with a particular standard, it can be said that the design fully complies with that standard. If the calculations are not accurate and precise, and the structure doesn't comply with industry standards, it can lead to structural failure and loss of life, as well as damage to the structure and its surrounding areas. Lastly, when it comes to the cost, it is important to find the balance between precision and cost. The more precise and accurate the calculations, the more expensive the structure will be. But it also means that there is less risk of failure and more safety for the people who use it. In conclusion, the design of structures requires making many assumptions that affect the precision and accuracy of calculations. To ensure safety and compliance with industry standards, it is important to use only the necessary significant figures and to round off to standard sizes when necessary. By following these guidelines, a balance can be struck between precision, cost, and safety for the structure and its users. It is also important to note that this video is just an introduction to the topic of structural calculations and design and does not cover the complexity of actual structural design. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. To learn more about the topic, please visit our website or subscribe to our channel for more videos on structural engineering.